Hey everyone, it's Izzy here and today is October the 8th, Monday, so this is reading vlog number two, vlogtober, um, week two, and I'm doing these videos in two parts now just because, like, I was trying to edit the one the other day and I edited it, it was over 50 minutes, and then it crashed and I couldn't upload it and yeah. But um, so most likely y'all came here for the books since this is a reading a vlog so I'm going to talk about that first and then go into what my plans are for today and for the week in general. So right now I'm reading Summer of Blood, England's First Revolution by Dan Jones. I started this in the last vlog so Sunday I don't really read, um, I read some but it's, it's Sunday is usually a busy day for me because I'm usually watching some sporting events like I watched the Dover race yesterday and then I watched the Dodgers game which was really sad so I'm gonna be watching the Dodgers again today so that kind of changed my plans because the game's at 4 30 so it's like afternoon game cool so I am on chapter 20 in this book and on page 175 so I am I as I said I don't know since there's that game tonight I don't know um if I will finish this book hopefully I do it is um, 211 pages. So if there wasn't a game today, I wasn't a plan on finishing this book, but I don't know how that will go. So then the graphic novel I've been reading is George R.R. R. Martin, A Game of Thrones, the graphic novel, volume two. I, I, I did read um, like two chapters of this yesterday, but in this book I didn't read anything and I am on issue 11 which is page um, 122 and issue 12 is the last issue and it starts on page 152 so I don't know at what page this actually ends on because there's not page numbers on the pages but um, I this is originally planned to finish today. So now for my TBR once I finish these um, I read history, so that means I read a modern next. So I'm going to be reading I Am Watching You by Teresa Driscoll. So this is a ah! <laughs> this is a thriller and it's basically there's a missing girl. The witness feels guilty because she didn't really say anything um, because she saw th these guys talking to her and she didn't really she felt something weird, but she didn't tell anybody. And so, and there is, so there's all these lies going around about this case and somebody is sending the witness all these mysterious letters, um, threatening letters, I think. Yeah, threatening letters. So yeah, that's what's happening in this book. And then after that, I will be reading Star Wars The Old Republic Deceive. Last week I read Raven and this book is by Paul S. Kemp. And I, I don't really know what this book's about so far. It's about a Sith, apparently. Um, someone on the dark side, a Darth Lord. Um, yeah, so I don't know because I only just look up the book I'm reading next instead of the book I'm reading two books. So then I'll be starting the fourth book in A Song of Ice and Fire, and that is A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin, obviously. So those are all the books I'm gonna be reading this week, or hopefully gonna be reading. So more on to what I'm doing this week. So for today, I am about to change, put on makeup and film a video. And then I'm gonna watch the Dodger game at 4.30. And as I said, that really changed my plans because I wasn't gonna go out to eat today and all. And that's like right time. Like, like when I was going out to eat, it's like right in the middle of the game. And I care about this game because this is kind of a make it or break it game. So um, I'm gonna be watching that. And those are like my only plans for today. And then, but this week, apparently we're gonna be getting a hurricane. Hurricane Michael, um, I don't know how that will go because we had Hurricane Florence a few weeks ago, but this one I've heard is not supposed to be nearly as bad, but we're still going to have a lot of rain and a tornado threat. So I don't know um, what to expect with that. And then towards the end of the week, I'm going to be in Charlotte, more specifically um, the um, Concord area of Charlotte um, for some racing stuff for... Um, I don't know if it's NASCAR associated, but it is racing um, related stuff that I'm gonna be doing. 
but I'm going to go, oh, and I need to upload a video because I was trying to upload the vlog last night, but of course with Spectrum, my Wi-Fi wasn't working, um, so I didn't get to get that uploaded. So I will be uploading that today, but you can usually expect the vlogs to be up on Saturday and Sunday and not on Monday because that's not when my videos are supposed to go up. Um, it's just my Wi-Fi wasn't working. So that is why I'll see y'all. Okay guys, so I got to the epilogue in Summer of Blood and I'm gonna read that in a minute, but I am currently about to edit the video I filmed today. It is 10.35 at night. <laughs> um, so I watched the Dodgers game, we won, which was awesome. So we're gonna be heading to Milwaukee. I don't know when that game's gonna be, but sometime this week. And then I played Fortnite, For no, I don't want my dog to get out and she's gonna jump anyway. So I played Fortnite for way longer than expected, took a bath. So now I'm editing my video and I'm gonna read while it's uploading. Hey guys, it's Izzy here. It is October the 9th and a random fact about today, four years ago I got my cat Fred, he just laid down in front of me from the Humane Society. So rescue pets if you had the chance because he's one of my best friends. But okay, so we're gonna be talking about reading now and then I'm going to film a fun go video, but I was about to film this and I had my blinds open because natural lighting is the best lighting, but the news was interviewing my neighbor and I was, and I didn't want my dog barking because like, I hate when dogs are barking in my videos, so I wouldn't want or interfere with that. I don't know. So, um, I had to close my blinds back, so I couldn't film, but I'm filming now. So, um, I finished Summer of Blood by Dan Jones last night. So I gave this book a three out of five. I have yet to write my review on Goodreads, but I'm going to go do that in a little bit after I film. So this book was my first, um, nonfiction book that I've read, or not nonfiction, but, um, a historical book I've read outside of school. I'm not in school anymore, but like since I was in high school, this is the first one I've read. And... So that, so that's just know that. Um, um, so it was something new to me, and, but I do think this book is a um, relatively easy read. Like he uses like, he doesn't use like huge words and he uses like basic words that the normal person would know. And um, it's a relatively short book. It was about uh, 211 pages, I think. And yeah, I, but I don't really remember anything that happened. That's my main thing. But I was really distracted, so I don't know. It's, it just wasn't a really memorable book to me, and I don't really know, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. It was just a con not confusing, but I didn't know which side was on the right side and which side was the wrong side, which is a thing with a lot of people assume that um, good and evil is just a black and white thing. Um, I don't believe that. I don't think there's just a straight line between the two. And um, I feel like in this book you can really see that because the people who were rebelling, the common people, were killing tons of people and torturing London basically and the all of England started doing it. But then um, I feel bad for Richard II because he was only like, I think 13 and he wasn't really ruling just yet because he wasn't a man yet. Like he had advisors and all that. And I feel <laughs> bad, but um, later when he does grow older, he is not a good person at all. But I feel like um, 
a lot of blame was put on him when he was, yeah, he was the king, but it, he wasn't really the one making the decisions. So it was his advisors. But again, I don't really remember much from this book, so I don't really want to say that, uh, say too much, because I'm like, I don't really know. So that's what my thoughts were on that book. So today I'll be starting another British book. Um, I am watching you by Teresa Driscoll. So this is a thriller. I think I talked about it at the start of the video, so I'm not gonna read the summary again, but um, I'm gonna read six chapters a day. And so that, so I should finish in a week because yeah, I, I think there's 48 chapters if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna read six chapters a day and I'm about to go read this. And then with Game of Thrones, um, the graphic novel volume two, I am going to finish this. This is what I'm going to read first today. I only have one issue left and yes. So um, the next graphic novel I'm going to read is probably going to be The Iron Fist because I read a Star Wars one last week, Game of Thrones this week, and then I'm going to read Marvel next week. So that's all the reading I'm going to be doing today. I'll check back with you guys later. But I'm about to film a Funko video. Now this video would have come out, comes out tomorrow for you guys. Okay guys, so firstly, I firstly, oh no, that's hard. I finished A Game of Thrones, the graphic novel, volume two. So since this is volume two, I don't know, um, I'm not gonna go into the plot, but I'm going to say this um, mainly focuses, I think more on the books than versus the TV show um, by how the characters look. And then um, the plot, I'm still not sure yet um, which one it's following more, but it's um, mainly the book so far from what I can tell. So then I started, I am watching you by Teresa Driscoll and I am 41 pages into it right where I wanted to get to, which I probably could read a lot more today, but I don't want to overdo it. Um, so this book, I had a theory of the letters of who was sending them and then it was addressed in the book so I don't know if that's true because I don't think they would address it that early and then on um, something just happened on like page 40 so I have another theory um that's why I would like thrillers and mysteries or anything I read really I'm always thinking ahead I don't know if that's bad but I'm always thinking ahead of what's gonna happen next and all that so I do have a theory for this book, um, for some of the stuff. So who knows where that will go, but um, done reading for the day. I'm probably going to go out to eat to Chili's. That's what I want. Um, so I may go to Chili's and then I don't really have any plans. I don't want to watch the Yankees Red Sox. I think that's today because I don't know, it'll stress me out way too much. This is the first time, not in my lifetime, but my first time like in my like adult life that the Yankees and Red Sox are playing each other in the playoffs. So it's like really like a big deal. I saw the Yankees and Red Sox play each other in June. It was like the last day of June. And I did vlog that. So if y'all guys, if y'all guys, if you guys want to watch that vlog up right hand corner, up there if you guys want to check that out and yeah so i don't know what i'm doing today <laughs>